Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Wizards and Chickens, where we're going to once again try and complete the third chapter of the Golden Vault. Um, I'm Matt, and I'll be the DM. We have the same party as last week, so might as well just get into it. Um, last week. You continued through the Delphi Manor, encountered a few very acidic monsters, some very strange magical uh, effects happened while you were traversing through. You entered what looked like an office and the air was heavy and nobody wanted to stick around to figure out what was going on. You entered a sitting room and found a very nice dragon chess set that uh, Taryn picked up. And that is where we left off. So what would you like to do? Now... So that you've brought up the gravity room again, I uh, I am a little curious about it. You said that it felt like they were just like underwater. Yeah, that as would... far as gravity was. Yeah, so you felt the air felt more solid. So yeah, I would go with uh, yeah, I would go with felt like you were underwater. But you could still breathe just fine. Here you go, stuff. Mm. We don't really see too much in there. We can go back and look at it if you guys want, but if I remember correctly, last time we were in there, we didn't see a whole lot. Well, I mean, did you try to swim through the air to see if there was anything hidden on the ceiling? Or if you can jump around like you know, like jump super high like you're on the moon. Over it can jump to the ceiling, no problem. Thinking like you know how when you're underwater and it's like buoyancy, but that's all I thought about. Anyway. Now that I'm sidetracking myself. What are you doing in here right now? Finished looking around the room. No creepy paintings. There's some doors. You guys want to go back uh, and check out the other room or start opening up doors? I guess we should. Like a game show. <laughs> What's behind door number one? Right? Is, is it more snow monsters? monsters? It'd be nice to figure out what's causing that magical feedback loop. Yeah, I'm that now I'm curious about that. Which part? The the magic room where it was it felt like you were underwater. Now I'm curious. Okay, well if if you all want to go back there, I'm, I'm happy to go investigate it with you. Anybody else? Or, hear me out, how about we split the party? <laughs> no. I kid, I kid. Sure, let's split the party. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea. What could what could go wrong? Well, don't jinx it. Um. Yeah, I think maybe splitting the party would be not the best idea. I guess it Scooby wouldn't be too bad as long as I don't touch anything. Oh, we're gonna touch everything. You will yeah. definitely touch things. I do touch things. I can't help myself. 
They're so much fun. I mean, all the, the rug just wanted to give me a hug. Oh, wait, I'm done in, in voice. All right. It just wanted Ooh. to give me a hug. All right, fancy let's... Fancy Yeah, fancy accents. I, I, I have two accents. This is one of two. Um, I got one. This is one of one. It's, it's about it's, it. Nice to get. Sorry. It's all right. Um... Oh, all right. What door haven't we gone through? There are four uh, doors in this room, and you haven't been through any of them. Um, except for the one you came in. Which is over... Which is the open one over on the wall. Okay. Um, four doors. Um, northwest. Oh, closest to the one left, so... Yeah, that works. Let's go through. This is where I found it's a door mimic. Oh no, we we've all, we've already had one. Been there, done that. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we don't want to do that again. You want to enter this door? Sounds good. Yep. Yes. All right. Oh, where'd my character go? Uh, do the undo. I'll put it back where it was. There. Oh, I see stairs. All that you see in this room is circular stairs going up and down. Back down to the lower floor as well? Yes. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, should we check out the red floor before we start moving vertically? Uh I, I, I agree. We should at least finish looking on this this level. Just to make sure nobody comes in behind us. So, so next door. Yes, mm -hmm. let's... Let's go over here. Mm-hmm. Start touching more things. Oh, yes, that's... So. You know that's my my grandest point. Fine, continuing along clockwise. Yes. Open. Uh oh, <laughs> behind door number two. Uh oh. Ah. I seem to have lost Hubert, and the undo button doesn't seem to be undoing. You may have to do it a couple of times. That guy looks like me. There you oh, are. Found him. Yeah, found me. He's in front of me, actually. You're floating. Oh. He's got wings. It's okay. <laughs> okay. This room reeks of chemicals. A long table with various mm. vials and compounds occupies the center of the room. At the table, two cloaked figures oversee various alchemical experiments. Mm. So what, what impression does Hubert get looking at these two? Uh, give me an insight check. They notice is the door opening, like, is this the door hinge is like super sound or something? They, well, does it creak all the way open? <laughs> they seem to be engrossed in whatever uh, experimentations they're doing. Mm. I don't feel very insightful. So 
insightful. No, no, you aren't very insightful, are you? May I see if I can figure anything out? Yeah, go ahead. Let's see if I'm any. And I'm not Ooh. anymore. Cute, delightful. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. I do believe. I do believe we've forgotten to pay our dice fee. Uh, well, this one's to this one's to wizards, so Eric can't help with that one. I know. Ooh. Can the the guy who's fighting with his hands in a sword fight try to make an insight check? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> those are people. Seems that's hilarious. Can can we aggregate those? Can we just add them all together and and come up with a slightly larger number? I mean, I can try, but I'm uh, not sure uh, with those numbers. If, yeah, I was about to ask if Shada wanted to try and roll an eight as well. Go for it. That would be amazing. That would be awesome. There's one more like, shitty roll. I'm pulling some stuff. Come on, eight. Send it. You've got this. Ah, come hey. on. All right. You know what? So close. <laughs> so close. Come on. Where's intelligence at? There it is. Yeah, so the, these two. Oh, yeah. Eight intelligence <laughs> check. Oh, yeah, he's going to walk in and ask what's going on. Oh, yep. well. That's smart. Um, you can leave uh, Heisenberg and Jesse alone. <laughs> I have I have a question real quick. Um, sure. I just I, I just dropped a different uh -huh. I just dropped a different mini on in. Do you want that one instead? Cody. So you can uh, tell yourselves apart. This guy right here. If you want, I mean it would be. It would. It's up to you. It, if you are happy with the monk guy, I can delete him out. Um, it's your sure. call. I mean, either way doesn't matter to me. Okay. All right. That's annoying. <laughs> um. Make one. That ooh. so you can see. I can there, tell you, apart. there you go. That works. Monster. Monster man. All right. Uh, should go in and ask them questions. We'll wait out here. Oh, yeah. Yep, with my intelligence check of eight. Yes. Go. We'll wait oh, here. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to walk in, kind uh -huh. of... Uh, Come right over here to the table and just like kind of check out what they're doing. You know? Try and understand what what's going on and not really succeeding. So he's going to ask, what you doing? So when you walk in, you see that one of them is taking the lead and seems to be giving direction to the second. Uh, and... Essentially, it seems like a researcher with his with his apprentice. And when you try and initiate conversation, they give short answers to not become distracted from their work. I'm gonna say something along the lines of "shut up and working." Um, some of it, if you ask specific questions, they may be inclined to answer, depending on if how quickly they'd be able to answer oh. and how annoyed they feel. So what kind of Weird chemicals, houses. reagents, and whatnot do they have spread out? Uh, with your eight intelligence check, you wouldn't know. That was mine. That was oh, my was that, intelligence check. Oh, was that your intelligence yeah. check? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
to roll intelligence, or do yeah. I need to roll a different skill? Let's get an intelligence check to see if you can tell what they're doing. Ooh, maybe they're making slime monsters. Well, I hope not. I mean, we found one in almost every room so far. Well, well two rooms. It's better than an eight. So, looking at the table and looking Ooh, around 14. the room, mm -hmm. you see uh, several potions around on the walls on the table. Um, you see there are four potions of healing that they're working with. Uh, okay. You see another potion that you're not familiar with. It's kind of a almost almost clear bluish. There's another one that's got a sheen over it. Looks kind of like an oil spill. And there's oh. a Another vial that you see that is uh, dark, dark red, almost almost blood red. And then there's two sets of alchemist supplies on the table. And are they doing something to the healing potions to make the other potions or no they're working on different potions and those seem to be things that they've already created and they're just making other chemicals and potions um yeah Oh, I'm at a loss. The lead, guess, uh, the, the lead researcher okay. looks up at you. If you're not here from with orders from the master, you need to leave. We are very busy with the the assignments given to us by the master and his lord. Very specific. Um, can I break character for just a moment? All right. Um, is there anything that Hubert would know about the Master and Lord based on what he was told when he was recruited to come help? Uh, you know that... Uh, let's see. All you know is that the master is Marcos Delphi. Mm -hmm. um, and that he stole the Celestial Codex, which is used for uh, bringing otherworldly entities into the material plane. The vault didn't know, doesn't know specifically what he would be trying to bring across, though. Okay. Um, hmm. See, we established last game that that the, my character was picked up in a in a bar or something, and like yeah, he hasn't been he hasn't really been filled on any of the details. So he's just here as well, backup. Yes, you were just but, a hired mercenary. Well, he has no idea about any of this stuff. He's oh, just nods along to what the what this guy's saying. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we'll I'll get out of your hair then. 
Uh, perhaps and... we could take the healing potions with us to the master. Uh, give me a deception check. I was afraid you were going to ask for that. It's... If you roll anything over a 10, I'm going to be surprised. It's not a difficult DC. They are very... Uh... Ah. 13. Ooh, 13. Woohoo! Big money, big money. At that I mean, look point, at the rolls before that. The the head researcher kind of waves his hand in the direction of the potions and says, they're over there. If, if he needs them, then bring, go ahead. Very um, distracted and only halfway paying attention to you. Well, I will take them all. All right. Even the weird ones? Mm, yes. You want to find out if that dark red one's a healing potion, too? You should drink it. I should touch it. Yes. Uh, I will take... Yeah, I'll take as much as I can get my hands on. All right. Uh, yeah, you'd be able to get all four potions and the other three vials as well. Okay. And, and they are just standard... Yeah, they're just regular potions of healing. And then later on, if you want to, you could look at those other three and try and determine what they are. Okay. Let me make a note. Oh, no. Okay, so three vials. One's dark red. One is dark red. One is a translucent blue. And one looks... Kind of like an oil slick. Ooh, grease. Maybe. Maybe. Scent. Did I spell that right? <gasps> I did. How about that? All right. I have them in my notes. All right. Okay. Uh... Well, gentlemen, we will get out of your hair now. And I will leave with the potions. Ha-ha. Very well, then. I can touch things now. And shall we, uh, shall we go to the next door? Sure, me. There's got to be things in there to touch. I vote we close this door and uh, mark it by leaving it as the only door. Yeah, uh, I, I vote we mark it by, by leaving it as the only door that's closed. Besides the two we haven't been through yet. So you close the door to the lab. We could barricade them in there with a the chair. They won't notice. Not until they go to leave. Right, but if they can't well, leave... Probably not until we leave. Well, yeah, but if they can't leave, they can't come in behind us and cause mischief. So that's actually a very good idea. Sure. Let's do that. Can we... Uh, can, does the door have a handle that we can stick the chair... Excuse me, up underneath? Which yeah. way did the door turn? It came into the room, or into the room you're currently in. Oh, okay, cool. So, actually... So if, it, if it opened the other way, and then they... That'd be kind of awkward. Yeah, it opens into their, into the lab, <laughs> and the chair just topples down. Just falls in there. <laughs> that would yeah, be funny. Yeah, kind of awkward. So perhaps uh, we could move a chair over. I can't yeah. ping. Not the table. Yeah, I, table. yeah, I can't do that. I keep on grabbing the table. I see that. The table really wants that, to go. That's not the piece that... There we go. Spooky stuff. Table flying around. Weird alchemists. You're not... You, you, oh, you, right. you might regret... You might regret joining us. Next door, sir, if you don't mind. Next door, indeed. 
Ooh. No look. Go. Things to touch. A fetid nice. stench permeates this room. Which oh is dear. Good. Which is empty save for two small bare tables standing against the west wall and an ornate rug in front of the window. <laughs> Next to the rug is a wooden candlestick holding the melted stump of a red candle. A long pull rope hangs from a wooden trap door in the ceiling. Hmm? A long pull. Um, well, oh. I personally... Uh, would suggest not stepping on the rug. Yeah. Is the, uh, so that, uh, rope dangling down the ceiling, is it within, um, within arm's reach? Because I remember the, uh, ceilings in these rooms are kind of high. Yes, it is hanging down to where you can reach it. Is it hanging directly over the rug, or is it no, off the side? No, it's over here. And okay. the, the trap door yeah. that it's attached to, that's closed? Currently, yes. Well, I'm going to do the only sensible thing and uh, pull on this dangling rope. All right. Sounds like a lovely sensible thing. Oh, yeah. You pull on the rope. The, checking the... And the door opens the easily and a ladder descends. Mm. Oh. We got a stair spiral staircase going up on the other room, and now we have a ladder. I forgot to mention something else that happened when you entered the room. Uh-oh. Con save, because it smells that bad. It does smell bad, but... Where's that? Everyone takes new product damage. No, um... The first time you reach for the rope, you mm -hmm. reach to where the rope should have been, but your hand just missed it. It took you a few tries to grab it, but it just seemed like it wasn't where you expected it to be. Weird. And then when you finally did find it, it you had to grab like maybe a foot to the left of it. <laughs> One. That's very odd. But then it was in your hand. Hmm. Well, it's not the weirdest thing you've seen so far, so. There's that. Interesting that it's all displaced like that. I'm sure that's not foreshadowing. <laughs> wonder if the ladder that dropped down is displaced too. I'm going to try and step on it and just. Ooh. Or you run into it without seeing it. Even funny. Is there um, anything sorry. at the the tables? Yeah, what does it smell like, by the way? Like, yeah, does it smell uh, like the oozes, or the snot monsters? It doesn't smell like the oozes, but you. It almost smells like. Rotting meat, meat. Ooh! But you don't Someone's know. You don't see somewhere. where it's coming from. These wooden floorboards. Yes. Do any of them look new? Newer? No. Like discolor discoloration on the floor at all? No. Hmm. Unless you check under the rug. Well. Well, I heard from a very wise person that uh, rugs are dangerous, so... Uh, yeah, rugs yeah. are... Rug, well, thank you, and rugs are very dangerous. Um, they are... Um, the last... They don't have a torch? A little clingy? They're uh, very clingy. Very, mm -hmm. Oh, that would... Uh, we could, we, but the problem is if we light the rug on fire, it might catch the rest of the room. Uh, details, Although, details. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although I do I do have quite I do have an idea. Um instead of actually lighting it on fire, 
Wait, can anybody cast create water? Let me double check. I can, I can cast mage hand. If I think really hard and believe I'm a mage, and I use my hand and punch something, I'll use mage hand. <laughs> and I'm sure he would also joke that if he has enough beers, he can create water that way too. Look, I already had the right? barbarian that cast mage armor. And just I put on like what, like I held that it was the mage as me. armor. <laughs> it was it was a, the barbarian character holding up the 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 mage character. I was not a nice. gentle barbarian. Should I get out my shocked face now? Maybe uh, if I also think really hard, I'll roll higher on this intelligence check. <laughs> Yeah, good luck with that. The dice hate you nope. tonight. So, I mean, look at the, the list, but it's not prepped today. I mean, look at the rolls. Four, eight, 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 nine, eight. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, the dice hate us tonight. Uh, okay, so that 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 kind of puts a bit of a damper on my my thought. Well, we, my thought was to um, light a torch and. Poke right, the and, road on fire. Well, not necessarily right, light it on fire, but if it's got any kind of smarts and fire coming at it, it will move out of the way instead of trying to hug on you. Does that make I mean, sense? I mean, no, my character wouldn't know that. Never mind. He's going to nod along. Yep. Sounds Why good. don't we just cast Detect Magic instead? Do we have that? Yeah, I can do the ritual for that. That's not a problem. That's a ten minute ritual, is it not? Or it's a spell slot. <laughs> I have it prepped, but... Um... I was hoping that as a ritual I wouldn't have the feedback that my magic had in the other room. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait or... Or, 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 but wait. You say screw it and just touch the rug. Okay. But of course, I, I'm all for. But I mean, it's not going to be me. You like touching things, so go ahead. Yeah, oh, well, okay. Um, I will. Pull... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll pull. Um, you know what? What the hell? Um, I will Hold pull on. out. Hold on, I'm holding. The spicy still need looks to at the road and looks at you. Looks the road. Still need again. to investigate these tables. Maybe there'll be something to throw at the rug to see if it reacts. It's gonna be a body in one of them. Seems about in about right for this house so far. Let's go to more things. Actually, no. You know, you're, you're over there. Um, Spice is going to keep looking at the rug and like alternating between the rug and uh, some of the characters. All right, where's your boy? Um, Taryn, quite... yeah. Ter yes, look, look between the Taryn and the rug, back at Taryn, back at the rug, kind of expectantly. Um. Oh, have have we looked at? The, are we done looking at the tables? Yeah, the tables are empty. The tables over here. Okay. Okay. Well, then I'm going to uh, pull my quarter staff off my off my back and poke at the rug. As you poke at the rug, nothing happens. Perfect. Ah, All right. Poke. <laughs> um. I'm still not going to walk on it, but at least we know somebody can walk on it. Well, if you... Seeing that it's uh, supposedly safe, Spice is going to grab the like the edge of the rug and kind of like drag it off to the side of the room. See if there's anything under it. Oh, there you we grab, go. Good idea. You grab the edge of the rug, go to pull mm -hmm. it, and it slides easily across the room like a normal rug. Yeah. Is there there's anything under it? Nothing. Where the rug was? Nope. All right, nothing. 
The only thing we haven't touched yet are these uh, tables over here. Are those like actual tables or are those like nightstands or something? For they are and stuff. And there's, oh, okay. those are the ones that, um, what is your character name, Carton? Hubert. Hubert. Hubert, Who? right, 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 because you're an Alan. Yes. Uh, Hubert has discovered nothing on them. You're not, there's a lot of nothing on them. Uh, You're not dead. No, I'm not. Uh, do, are we going to uh, uh, send someone up the ladder? I'll fly up there. Okay. I'll, I'll have, Hubert will fly up there and see what's up there. Remembering how that rope was kind of like misplaced. Spice is going to like put his hand on the uh, on the ladder, see if it's actually there. But not where it's not. Uh, reaching out to where you see the ladder, you mm -hmm. feel the stone wall. Ooh, here we go. And which direction away from the uh, illusion of the rope was the actual rope? You it said it was like a foot off, right? It's about a foot off to the left. Well, he's going to reach about a foot to the left. You find a ladder. Ooh, there we go. Might have to re-roll that intelligence to see uh, if he's actually smart enough. So you... Uh, the, uh, oh, that's hey, there weird. we go. See? Voila. Are you smarter? Yeah, that's a 17. That's my only good roll for the night. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you figure out that there seems to be some sort of illusory magic causing things to appear slightly off from where oh. they actually are. So, so Hubert flying up to see the, the trap door, is he going to run into the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <It's> possible. <laughs> oh, perhaps. So everything is off. Perhaps you could shout up to him and let him know that he needs to be a foot to the left. Oh no, before. he's not going to say anything. <laughs> he's going to watch. <laughs> As Hubert crashes into the ceiling. And there is no yes. wooden door. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. I'm sorry. Now, uh, I'm climb Hubert crashes into the ladder. ceiling and what? You crash into the ceiling and not into the trap door that you expected to. Awesome. Okay, well then, um... Spice is going to go up the invisible ladder. By by touch, can I find <laughs> when, where it's supposed to be? When you find the ladder and you are actually holding on to it, it seems to lose its uh, hold, the, the illusion you see through it, and you're able to see the ladder. And I, 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 as I'm watching, do I, is everything still, do I still have the shift? Um, for a second, I'm... as he reaches and grabs it, the it shifts back to the correct orientation and then it jumps again but uh oddly you see spicy also shifts with it like he entered into the magical field is anything else in the room do any shifting uh not Everything else seems to still be offset from what you are anticipating it to be. Well, now that I have kind of interacted with it and seen Spicy interact with it and and shift, can I like your try self. to disbelieve the illusion? Yeah, you're able to kind of work your way and find the trap door. 
Okay. Hmm. That got real interesting real fast. Well, it did indeed. Shada, are you seeing the same thing that I'm seeing? Everybody's not quite exactly where they're supposed to be? I think I am. Okay. Well, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm oh. not... But that means there's some kind of magic involved right now, which makes me so, a little nervous. So, can he reach out and touch the wall to his left from, from where he's at right now? From the yes. ladder? The ladder is almost abutted to the wall. Yeah, he's going to try and touch the wall and see if the wall's actually there. The wall is actually there. Oh, well. Yeah. He's going to keep going up the ladder then. All right. If uh, I can't get him up there, I can't see you. I see you floor. I can't see you. Oh, there he is. Who else going what? upstairs? Um, I, I will. Who else? No, Hubert. Well, Hubert. That was come off. Up, then come upstairs then. So just Hubert and Spicy went uh -huh. up the ladder? Yep. <laughs> At least, uh, as far as I you know. Well, I guess we succeeded in shift splitting the party. Um... Yep. So you thought I was joking earlier. But, yeah. Um, I... well, what? First, is there anything dangerous up here? Well, I can look around. What you see is a raised marble tub <sighs> occupies this room. Near it are two marble sinks mm. with oval mirrors mounted above them, a fireplace, and a small table against the east wall that has a colorful collection of bottles atop it. Mm. Alright, I'm going I to... Falls down. It looks like a vanity bath. Oh. Does it? A bath. Yes. That would be nice. The source so, of the smell? There's a ladder going up to the bathroom. Yep. Well, when you absolutely don't want to be disturbed, well, yeah, you make it impossible door right there. to find the vanity bath. There's a door right there. In the direction oh, that yeah, my character's facing. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm going to... Um, I can... Um, I think no. that uh should just check this room out because uh, it had a weird ladder going up to it. And then after that, we should go back down the ladder and then check out the rest of that floor before we go up. Yeah, I don't want to Sounds leave. Reasonable. I'm going to so stay down here. We can kind of keep track of what we're doing. Good. Yeah, I'm going to stay down here with Silk. He, mm. he can't. Yeah, well, he can't climb ladders. Those <laughs> little, little kitty, <laughs> little kitty paws don't work real well with ladders. Although above well, game, like I did, his, I did have a big, cat. This big claws, right? Cats climb trees. They do climb trees. That's that is true. But um Well I guess I could send him up ahead of me. Mm. It's a wooden ladder. But it's a ladder you can't see. Mm. Yeah, true. Yeah, He's gonna try and go up the ladder that's not there. Yeah, I don't see yeah. it. Awesome. Well, the opening that's offset awesome. as well. I mean, it's not like we're staying up here, just checking out the room and going back down and then continuing on with the search. Well, so. we'll, we'll, we'll stay down here for now. And if you run into anything oozy, just give a holler and we'll come up. All right. Well, Spice is going to look around. Uh, yep. So those that bath and stuff over there, that's the only, that's the only thing? Yes. Nothing else in the room? Well, that is it. he's going to go and check it out. You said there was a 
something with a bunch of bottles with viscous liquids in them. There is... Um, there's a small table against the east wall. And it contains uh, some, a colorful collection of bottles. You see four bottles, in fact. Or are talking like mane and tail or lessons like <laughs> swallow <laughs> more questionable potions or are they the good kind of potions that you find out at like a bar or something? Um <laughs> looking at them mm -hmm. they look like potion of intoxication. Uh perfumes and oils. Oh okay. So it's it's what I was expecting it. Okay. Weird as a trap door going up to a bathroom, but, you know. Ah, but this is the luxury suite bathroom, so. Big room, tiny tub. All right, well, I've been does uh, Spicy know say strange about this bathroom? Uh, not the bird bath could use a little. Anything weird going on here? Not that you, you have can... to roll for that. Excuse me. You Reception. see, uh, feeding the tub and the sinks, there are some uh, pipes coming down from the roof. Um, nothing odd. Excuse me. Sorry. Well, just gonna look at Hubert and kind of shrug. Huh. Found the bathroom, I guess. So he's gonna start making his yep. way back to the trap door. Yep, with its luxury marble bird bath. Anything of, of else of interest in the room? You'd said mm -hmm. there was the the vanity with the dual mirrors. Yep. Um, the fire. We didn't check. It. Are there drawers and drawer cabinets and stuff, or is that where we found the bottles? Uh, some bottles were on top of it, and some were inside of a inside of a cupboard cabinet. All right. So you look inside. All right. Cool. Okay. Well, back down the ladder. That's almost not there. Was there anything of note? in the other part of the room so like over by the door no yeah over by, over by the door nothing over there okay there you go thank you mm. odd well all right then spice is going to kind of look around very checked up what's in this room, so that smells kind of weird. But, uh, we've seen a lot of weird stuff already in this house, so. Yeah, this house is unless, not, not great. Unless we can actually like, find out, like, find clues as to what's, what's causing it, I think we're just about ready to move on. Wait a minute. You said there was a set of plumbing coming down to feed the pipes. From the roof. Is there... Is there a plumbing set up to take away the water that's been used? Not that you saw. Huh. We go back up there and start messing with faucets and stuff. <laughs> okay. Weird. Interesting. So we'll put a spoon. Hubert's not really a tinkerer, though, so. No, neither is spicy. Uh, well, we not have... very bright either, so. Well, that's all right. Fighters don't have to be bright. Uh, we have one more door to go through on this floor before we go up. Shall we? Mm-hmm. I think we shall. Oh, it's a bedroom. 
Onwards. I'm going to hold on before we go in. Let's peek. I'm going to peek through the door. You see a very nice Fine bedroom monsters. Uh, with a very ornate bed frame. There's a very nice wardrobe, a writing desk, and a leather chair. All right. Well, in uh, we shall. Chair. A leather chair, Lumps. and of course another leather. Okay. <sighs> a mimic. So, okay, isn't that wait. about where the uh, the other fireplace was it? in the bathroom above? Yeah, it's in line with it. Hey, what did you say about the fireplace? It's in line it's in with line. the other I was one. double checking if, yeah. I cut down a little bit. So like, it's a shared chimney between this this bedroom and the ornate bathroom upstairs. Oh. I was going to continue mishearing what I heard. For what you said, so that's oh, fine. Well, I, I heard no walk lover in. chair instead of leather chair the first time, so it that's is a weird. lover's chair. Said, yes, but you said a leather fireplace. I'm like, what? Huh. I don't even know how I heard that, but you know, whatever. <laughs> each, to each their own. Uh, I would like to go through the desk. All right, let's see. Oh. Our Alan is, oh, is flying all over. Yeah, that's every time I try to move him, he just flies off. Where are you at right now? I never realized how accurate that song was. Oh, I'm hitting the back arrow until he shows up again. <laughs> <laughs> there he comes. And Child. there he goes. Uh, you know, the, if you tap and hold the back. There we go. Oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> we are at uh, what time? Keep going. Are we? 52 minutes. We got that to happen. <laughs> Is that a new record? No, it's just we like to. Mark when things like that happen to give feedback for the video to hey check out what happened in the video at this time frame. It's more fun when it happens throughout the whole game. <laughs> hey, bet. That's just fun. Okay, so what is in the desk? There is writing supplies. Mimic, it bites your hand. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was a mimic, and I, I lost a hand. Uh, it's writing things? Just, just a writing desk. Oh, nothing special in it. No. Nope. Damn. Um, Spicy, you want to go? Th so go through this size. Uh, it's like a cabinet, right? That is a wardrobe. Would uh, you like you can to open the wardrobe. Yeah, I was going to ask just... if you'd like to go through it. Gonna start touching things. Uh, inside of the wardrobe is some very fine outfits. Look oh. like Ooh. they look like they belong to a lord. Mm-hmm. Like perhaps the lord of the manor. Quite uh, possibly. Would any of those fit you, Spice? I think they look delightful in some of them. Oh yeah, let's see. He's gonna he's gonna pull one of these uh all right, all right, he's gonna pull one of these uh outfits out. Are they like all like uh, is it just like a row of coats and stuff or Um there are is it like full full blown outfits. Full outfits. You've got tunics, you've got hose, you've got entire he's, outfits. He's gonna are they his size? Uh, you're a human, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Actually, they would be... Too small. It's a crop top. 
<laughs> well, they are the clothes belonging to a human. So they would be pretty close to your size. They might be a little tight. What with your... It's medium when it should be a large. Yeah. What with your fighter background. Yeah. And his fighter physique. Yes. Well, he's going to entertain the thought of uh, trying on this dude's clothes, but ultimately he's going to put it back. All right. While uh, anything else there besides clothing? I Nothing go else through in the, the wardrobe. Uh, else. Are there anything in the pockets of the the coats? No. Dark. While while these two are rummaging through the desk and the wardrobe, what about Hubert and uh, Shada? What are you guys doing? Well, what kind of inks did you say there were in the writing supplies? Uh, there are some, just some standard black. Uh, there's a emerald. Ooh, very, very nice. Nice, uh, ruby red. Ooh. And yeah. a deep blue. Fancy blues. Well. Is there a ledger around the uh, the writing desk? Uh, there is. Is there anything of interest in the? Because I have a feeling that the the green and the red has to do with the ledger and tracking expenditures. Uh, the is ledger that is what actually the ledger empty. seems to be about. Really, it is. Hmm. I I seem to have misplaced my ledger and my uh, my writing supplies. I you don't suppose these would be missed, would they? I would highly doubt it. Shada, what are you doing? Wandering around. Looking All at right. things. Well, while you're wandering around looking at things, could I get an investigation check? Hey, an 11. Big money, big money. All right. This is a very nice bedroom. Can I hop on that uh, investigation check, or yeah, go am ahead. I all investigated that with that wardrobe? Nah, go ahead. Alrighty, let's see. Where are you? Oh. There it is. Ah! Oh. It's a very nice room. It is a very nice room. What did you get? A seven. A seven. Woohoo! Um, may I oh, yeah. join into the, uh, very nice room club? <laughs> yeah, have at it. In it's this. a nice room. It's a very super nice, nice room. room. <laughs> wow. It might be a room. It's, it's I, a room. No, it's, you don't even know if it's nice. It's, it's just a room. I was gonna say, are we even in a room? Where are we? All right. I love it. Nice. Yeah. Big rolls. I do like this room. It is nice. <laughs> oh my! Perfect. Um. Dirt, dirt. Well, that's kind of sucky because the player can see that there's a wall. There's something behind the wall, but the the. Mm -hmm, Character mm -hmm. cannot. Oh, metagaming, metagaming. <laughs> well, I'm. I, Ooh, I, you're in trouble. I did not say I was. What are you talking about? I'm gonna tell God. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say I was doing anything about it. I just said I could see it. And it's. It's it's there, but uh, we don't know it's there. 
I hate it when that Who's happens. Talking about? I don't know nice what I'm talking about. It's a very nice room. Is it, wait, yeah, well, is it a room? Uh, gonna, is it a room? I'm going to go sit down on the bed while you all argue about what to do. <laughs> I'm going to go check the fireplace, see if there's anything in the fireplace. Like burnt letters or something, I don't know. I'm going to try and figure out where I am. If I'm in a room or... I think you are completely thrown off after that last room with the trippy magical effects from that other room. It definitely. It, it's, it's, it's mess, it messed with my mind. And these are... And that room, the, the magical effect in that room makes it to where I wouldn't even really give you advantage on the roll for realizing that the, the dimensions don't seem to add up properly. I don't know what you're talking about. Or, or, or the fact that we're just dumb. Oh, I'm not <laughs> dumb, I'm just... Oh. Oh. I said we. Okay. Don't worry, I'm including myself in this. Okay, very good. It's all right. We both can be stupid together. Oh, that's lovely. It's a, nice it's a very nice room. Wait, are we in a room? Right. Uh, it is he likes company. Exactly. Um, I'm just going to sit down on the desk for a little bit and... and... On the desk. Not on the chair oh. next to the desk. No, no, on the, desk. on the desk. I'm going to sit yeah. on the desk. Nice. So, what's gonna... this bed like? Since Hubert's over there sitting. That bed. It's a um, nice bed. <laughs> what? What kind of firmness does Hubert like his bed to be? Whatever it is, it's that. <laughs> or it's the exact opposite. Well, I was going to determine if you liked how it felt or if it was too soft. Because this is a very very soft bed. I would yeah. think being avian, a, a softer bed would be preferred because he needs the bed the not bed. to well, I mean lots of yeah, no. he, this he needs bed. the bed not to create pressure points, and especially with like the wings. And, this you know, bed is the doing... bed of your dreams. Yeah, it's Whoa. an Allen down uh, comforter and everything. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? Uh, I said that in my head very loudly. <laughs> so, so he didn't realize he was actually speaking is what I'm hearing. Oh, that was a that was an out of character joke slash thought. <laughs> My actual character's over here, staring, still staring at this fireplace. You see, in the back of the fireplace, where it, uh, you see a gap in the back of the wall and the floor where it descends, oh. but you also see looking up. The same kind of gap in the back at the top of it. So, like, it's connected to chimney. Yes. So, it's the shared chimney, and it seems like there, there is another a, fireplace below you. Yeah, and there's that fireplace above us and that weird ladder leading up to the room. Right. Well, it's a fireplace. Is there any, like burnt letters or anything like that in the fireplace or is it just the fireplace? No, just fireplace, a log, ashes have been cleaned Ooh. out. Guys, I found a log. It's kind of nice. Well, that's about it. Uh, unless there's anything else to be found in here. Just a very nice bed. Not with Four. not those investigation oh, yeah. checks. <laughs> well, before we head out, I'll, um, Hubert's going to just kind of take in the whole room again, just 
just to eyeball it and, and see if if maybe there's anything that catches his eye. Hang on one you second. Try and roll a better investigation check. I want to just perception really fast. Ooh, try for perception now. Hang on one second. I'll check something. Okay. We'll wait right here. Um, we'll, t we'll talk among us ourselves. Yeah, that's fine. Is it a nice log that you found? Yes, it is. Nice log. A nice fire. What kind of wood is it? I don't know. Whatever it's a kind of wood. <laughs> what kind of woods do you know of? Uh, with that investigation check, just wood. <laughs> I blanked on what book I'm looking for. Golden Keys. No, not Golden Keys. Um, Number three. Identifying wood. It just says, yep, it's wood. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not wrong. Uh, I'm not some druid. Or some tree-hugging elf. A. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Oh. I don't hug That's trees. What I'm for. There we go. Sure, you do. I sure you don't. Yeah. Uh huh. I don't believe you. Roll persuasion. I, <laughs> I don't believe you. Or is it deception? It would be mm -hmm. persuasion. Mm -hmm. Sure. How about a twenty-four? Oh well. You believe I don't hug trees. Yeah, I don't hug yep. trees. <laughs> Okay. So that's perception, not persuasion. Oh, that was that persuasion? Uh... Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's nope, try it again. It. Okay, 20. Ah. Uh, see, now they're rolling for stuff that doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's get these rolls knocked out. <laughs> so there's all my good... I've done my good rolls for the evening. I'm done. Uh -huh. oh, I, I am. Hoping to see. <laughs> but no. Oh. I was looking to see if, as an owl, and you got, and if you did get advantage or anything on investigation checks or perception, but nope. My character has an advantage on mouth breathing. <laughs> That's the best kind. <laughs> Moving on. Um. No. Spicy right. didn't believe you at first when you said you didn't hug trees, but the second time, very that he he definitely believed you after that. Oh well, very good because I don't. I might yeah, live in them, only, but I don't hug them. It only it only took two time two tries. Uh, I don't know what the difference was between the two, but that second one was really really convinced him, even though you said I, it the exact same way. I right. smiled. So you have found <laughs> two different ways to get upstairs. Which route do you take? Well, we didn't go up the big staircase. I would like to go up the big staircase. Yeah. All right. Big staircase. All right. Can you figure out any more stuff? There you go. So I guess since Hubert has to get out of the bed now, he leans against the wall as he does and gets up and out and... Well, you could stay behind if you'd like, but that's, um, splitting up the party. That sounds never like bad etiquette to me. It is never advisable to split the party. This is spicy doesn't know that. Um, Spicy, you should never split your party. 
Mm-hmm. How do you know that? The gravity room. You wouldn't happen to have some weird voice speaking into your head, would you? I don't not, know. not, not. Not she right split now, the, no. She split the party in the in the first chapter of this. Oh, so it's experience. Okay. It mm-hmm. didn't. It didn't end very great for some members of that party. Oh, what did? Did we did, double? Did we lose anybody in that one? No, but it was uh, exciting when they found the mimic downstairs. While you guys mm-hmm. were fighting upstairs. <laughs> Oh, right, 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 right. That was the, um... That was in the Museum of Natural History. Right. Yes. Yeah, that was... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Is that where Puck lost his arm? I think so. Yes. Yes. Let me give you stairs to look at. Okay, thank Hold on. you. Didn't we want to double back to the the office with the weird gravity? Uh, we can do that. Sure, why not? If that's all right with everyone. Yep. Yeah, sounds good. Before we move on. Yeah. All right. So we have to go out into the hallway, through the door, around the corner, up the door. Oh, look at you go through those walls. Through here. Watch him do it again. <gasps> you must be a Shallon monk. Nope. You sure look like one. Well, I definitely do not have the inner piece down. I think that's why. Oh, there's a halfling on the table. I do punch things, though. She likes I'm the things from up here. Which is the normal view for everyone else. Sorry. Well, with how hard spicy hits, it's, you might as well run to where your blows as one punch. All right, so uh, we're investigating the odd gravity. All right, so yes. when you enter the room... Uh, let's see, where are we? <laughs> As you enter the room with the odd gravity, the gravity seems normal. Hmm. What? Uh-huh. As you well. enter, you notice that the door to the room seems to have grown teeth. The one that we opened before? Uh Uh-huh. The one that's still open? Yep. When you walked through it... Has teeth now? It now has teeth as you walked through into the room. Oh, perfect. So what skill well, does Hubert need to roll to understand what's going on here? If you want to, you can try and roll an Arcana. Oh, boy. Why does the door have teeth? And it, it's a room mimic. Did Ooh. you touch it? <laughs> I didn't touch no! it. No! Well, yeah, I may hey, have. Well, not, not That's a 19. Wow. I feel pretty good. Pretty good about that check. Oh my god. It seems like you've already noticed a nice some piece. strange effects whenever magic gets cast, but it seems like some rooms seem to have a uh, magical effect whenever you enter some rooms. And it appears. Okay to be a number of different things that could happen. Okay. It's like a, a puzzle, but an entire house. Mm. Got to enter rooms, at certain, like different rooms first, and then other stuff happens to other rooms. Potentially. So the or is door this, teeth, or is are this they, house a... Uh, are they for show, yeah. or are they in... 
intimidating? Is it safe? Is it going to eat us? Are they um, well, you see... For show, or are they faux show? You see the <laughs> room that you just came from on the other side of the door. Wait, well, which room that we just came from? The room that... The connecting room. The empty okay. room. Okay. You see that room on the other side of the door. Okay. Well... So, like, are you also going to reach into this to mess with us, or... What was that? Are you telling us... Hmm. So, there's... It's... Okay, hold poke your quarter step out out through the door the doorway. Just poke just poke your quarter step out through there. See if it chomps down on it. So the the empty room. Wait. I'm gonna pull out my quarter staff. Okay. Actually, I already have it puzzle out. Food. And I'm well, going they to... Food. Sorry, go ahead. I'm just going to poke the door with my quarterstaff. Uh, what part of the door with the... What part are you, the door... of the doorway are you poking? Um... Poke it in the teeth. Uh, it reacts. It does seem like it's trying to bite your arm as you reach out with it. Well, no, no, I'm... But, yeah, since you didn't poke, since you held the quarterstaff, it's biting towards your arm. And oh, biting. okay. Which part of the... Is it, like, the whole door and mouth now, or...? Essentially is what... How is it's the reacting. The whole doorway, or is it the door itself? The doorway. So, the doorway, like, chomped down on it. It's trying to bite to her arm, but... Okay. How does it... Oh. Um, okay. So does the door, <laughs> the doorway itself, like, change shape and stuff? Is it trying to chomp down on it? Or? It appears to be... Would it, yeah. like, not be smart to try and walk back through the doorway? You could try. Uh, you know what? So, well, well exactly they are... what's it, what intelligence check. Well, they are Seven. investigating the door... Uh, Hoover uh, is going to rifle through the desk and see if there's anything of interest as a as a businessman. If there's anything of interest to him, um, let me get, the, get back oh. over to the office real quick. Sure. I'm going all over the place in the book right now. <laughs> um, in the desk. There is nothing anymore. I know last time you went through this room, you'd found a calligrapher set. I, I don't remember that. who grabbed it. I believe I have that. And I'm willing to give it up. And then you also looked, rummaged through the filing cabinet in that nook farther up in the room. And yeah, found, somebody else. And found several... Uh, Letters and types of correspondence between Marcos and other nobles that was not of any interest to you guys. Mm -hmm. Read inside of the right now. Well, like, was it just business dealings or was it like. It was. Um. For back, lack of better terms, management type things of management mm. for the estate. Uh, political. Was there deeds to the house in there? No, political Damn. statements <laughs> to some of the leadership of the town. Hmm. The. Um... Businessy and, and management related things are actually of interest to Hubert. Okay. So he'll he'll peruse that and see. I mean, it's just kind of like going on, right? Like nothing really. 
No, no, it's his thoughts on how things would be. Okay. Hmm. Hubert accidentally got ejected from the room. I'm trying to move him back. You like to do that, don't you? Uh, like? No. Succeed at it anyway? You're, Unfortunately. You're, you're very good at that. <laughs> I am. So, Spice is going to reach into his inventory backpack thing that may or may not actually be on his back and uh, pull out a hand axe. Okay. And kind of like Toss it through the doorway. See if anything happens. Um, it tries to bite at the axe, but axe sails through and lands on the other side. Okay, hey, well then. Do I notice that it's kind of sluggish on the reaction time, or, like, did I just throw it fast? You just threw it fast enough. Oh. Uh. So if I take a running start. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that yet. <laughs> yeah. So is there anything well, of interest in that room that's not at the ground level? Because Dad said that sometimes gravity is wonky. and No. So maybe there's... Okay. Nope, it's just... What uh, that? Elevated that ceiling. cabinet way off over there. That was where that was the, the filing business, cabinet. Yeah, the filing cabinet with business dealings oh. and mm -hmm. uh, management things. I well, think Hubert is going to. Does anyone have a slow Hubert. spell? Out of character? Well, no, never mind. In character, they don't have a slow spell. Heard that was a thing that mages can do. I do slow not. Things. I can, uh... Are we even at that level for slow spells you can be unlocked? I doubt it. I think that's third level. But... Not third. After the, the magic feedback, Hubert is a little hesitant to cast anything. Mm -hmm. Well, we got, a, we got a murderous doorway, so... And that's the way we have to go. So, um... We either... Just walk through it, and get. I'm, I'm not. I'm not walking through that. And get sprint, chomped maybe. on. Well, the sprint. And, uh, well, Spice is going to go over here and move that desk out of the way. He's going to ask the halfling to move first. Whoops. If it's that big of a deal, why don't you push, push the desk like desk halfway over. through the doorway and then crawl under the desk out of the room? Is there a gap under the desk? Um. That's an no. interesting idea. It is a... No? It's got a kick plate in the back of it. What about, what about the chairs? Under the, like, that gap between the legs of the chairs? Uh-huh. Right, is that, like, big enough of a gap for us to crawl under? You kind of eyeball that, or...? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'll let you do All it. All right, I'm going to take... One of these chairs, and set it right there, in the middle of the doorway. Okay. Want to see if the doorway chomps clean through it or not? Uh, when you set the chair into the doorway. Let's see. It'd be kind of useless to try and crawl under the chair just to have it end up being like one of those uh, magic tricks where they saw a person in half, except in real life. The Like actually happening. <laughs> the doorway chomps down on the door, reducing on the chair, reducing it to splinters. Oh, well, oh. there goes that idea. That was bad. Um... What happens if we close the door? You, you don't even have to touch it. 
But I don't have to touch the doorway to close the door. I can push the door so that it would close itself. If you would like to try, I'll, I'll watch. End it. I mean, what else are we doing here? Run through the door and okay. get out. What are these walls made of? Sneak through the door? Uh, wood and plaster. Uh huh. Oh. Well, Spicy, in his infinite wisdom, is going to punch a wall over here. All right. Oh, God. Which he's gonna punch wall this wall. are you going to punch? The one that he's looking at. You're going to punch the wall. Hm. Yep. All right. Yep. Anybody else see the room spin just now? Did it? Did you, t did you teleport again? There. It, apparently it wanted to have that shifting illusion going on. <laughs> All right. Give me an attack roll then. All right. Let's see here. Damage roll or a roll itself? Like, an actual does attack. this wall somehow dot? So does this wall dodge his fist? Let's see if All you right, see. hit it hard enough to do some damage. Big money. I rolled a 12. It's a wall. You hit it. So roll damage. Awesome. Oh, eight damage. Uh, you punched in and you made a slight hole in the plaster. I'm going to look in the, like, in through this hole and see, like, so, like, like, two by fours running, running up and down, like, vertically, like, kind of like how you'd see in, uh, in, like, modern houses, or is it, like, yeah, you're you looking for the studs you see, a, you see a wooden yeah. framework inside of the plaster, yes. Okay. About how wide apart, like, about how wide are these, uh, these wooden studs, like, about how much of a distance between the two, or between them? Um, Enough to squeeze through, or? Maybe if, a foot, uh, foot and a half, so... Foot and a half? All right, that'll do. Well, you, he's going to keep... have a problem. The island might have a little bit of difficulty, but... Yeah, we'll get him through. All right, well, he's going to keep doing that. He's going to keep attacking this wall until he makes a person-sized hole in it. Trying to break the plaster down. All right, give me another attack. Seven. Uh, you actually, you found one of those, uh, two by fours and did not make any headway through the plaster. Well, let's see here. I'm going to reach into my handy dandy backpack and pull out a whole ass battle axe. Backpack, backpack. Like the, like the mask. <laughs> Just pulls out a whole battle axe out of this backpack. All right, go ahead. All right, let me equip that. He wants to let me. There we go. It was strapped All to right. the outside. Well, there's another one in there too. By the way, there's a whole lot. There's a whole another battle axe in there. He Just has a out. bunch of handle or a uh, hat sticking out of the top. He pulled right? it out, bag of holding right, style. <laughs> All right, well, he's going to start working at this wall with his axe. All right, I'd say with the axe, you get through pretty pretty quickly. You manage to get a hole in the wall. Awesome. Well, made another door. Let's this see, doesn't this have teeth. teeth, does it? This one does not have teeth. Awesome. What does it what does it have? No. It has a lot of splinters. Well, that we can deal with. It probably right has through. a bad time. If if you have feathers, it probably has a very bad time. Well, well, well. Well, you can you can preen your feathers later. You gotta you got a mimic room to walk out of. We'll figure out how to get you through without a great deal of damage. I'd say I mean, he, can he managed to get it. He managed to make a big enough hole with his battle axe to. Awesome. 
He's going to put his that handy dandy battle axe back in the backpack. It was very handy dandy. So I right? would say battle axe versus plaster and wood. Battle axe is going to win. Oh, there we go. Well, now you don't have to deal with teeth. So, cool. The and teeth are this. Those were pretty. And looking back, you notice that the door is normal now. Go figure. What? Booby traps. This place is weird. <laughs> now, mm -hmm, is it mm -hmm. normal because that door is closed, or did I never close that door? No. And it's normal because we have left the room. No idea. I believe you left the well, door open. I'm not going to go find out. So it's normal because we left the room. Okay. Yep, I'm not going to go find what, out. What happens if we go back in? Then another random magic effect is triggered. and Maybe the door grows teeth. Maybe gravity is wonky. Maybe the new door grows teeth. Maybe... Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, or maybe the whole room time. burst out in polka dots. I, I well, don't know. It, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> no, I don't want polka Um, Can I walk back through the, the, the new door? Okay. As you enter, so as you enter the room, you notice the... Dark shadow seems to form around you. Oh, shit. Does Hubert see the dark shadow thing? Yes. Uh oh. Um, I didn't touch able it. Able to see it, does he understand what's going on? Like, I don't know how to tell her to be careful because the shadow thing hurt him earlier. Um, yeah, you can, you can make a comment to her. She is well aware of the shadow thing, too. She's had it, uh, attach itself to her before as well. Especially, yeah. my character is looking the opposite way, so I guess that's what I'm gonna roll, roll with, so Spicy does not see any of that, and keeps walking forward. Wait a minute, was the shadow attached to Hoover when he got the magic feedback thing? Yes. Really? But it's not attached to him anymore, so maybe no. he could cast something? I don't know. Hmm. Um, actually, he is going to cast something. Is there... I'm trying to see what yeah. items are about. A light cantrip or something? Or spell. That's exactly what's about to happen, yeah. Oh, metagaming, sorry. Oh. Mm. Spicy does not know what, what a spell is. Some weird magic stuff. I am, I'm pretty sure a spell has been cast in your presence. I'm sure. But He's he no wizard, it. he doesn't know. Uh, yes. Taryn, you take... Um, uh, cast light on my shield... Eight and tell her to be careful of the of shadows. Necrotic damage, as you feel the the shadow squeezes in on you. Mm -hmm. Yep. I rolled natural twenty. When when Hubert casts light on his shield, aiming the light at the shadow, what happens? You, which room are you in? I would be in the doorway of the... So I'd, I'd be, like, sticking the shield through the doorway to the shadow, but he's not in that room when he casts. Do you notice over here? Over... Oh, at this that, open doorway? At that open doorway, a mm -hmm. familiar... Gnashing sound 
as the <clears throat> shadow disappears and this doorway is filled with teeth. Awesome. Well, we know my solution to that. You have to go through the doorway. So the the shadow can say, oh, I got big. You did. I don't know how that That's happened. That's hell of a trick. I thought you said you cast light, not enlarge. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm so very confused as a result. This place is weird. <laughs> this place is very weird. I don't know that we're ever going to... I have that sinking feeling we're going to be stuck here for a while. So... I got an axe. Oh, and also... Puzzling uh, things together... You also see the windows in this room have gnashing teeth as well. Perfect. Is there anything wrong with this staircase? No. So, I imagine cool. that normally this would be an intelligence check to try to figure out, but... Um, Hubert is wise and not not mm -hmm. near as much for the books. Uh, is there see some how way wise to... Spicy is? <laughs> oh, um, seventeen! Wow, very wise. It seems... As the way of the way of the axe and deconstructing carpentry has enlightened him. It seems that only one of these strange effects can be going on at a time. also seems like the spell casting was what triggered the, the change. The current one. There was no spell that was cast that caused the shadow, though. No, all I did was walk through the door. So there's multiple triggers. Oh. Okay. We've the, already seen uh, everything else up to this point. Are there teeth on the impromptu doorway as well? No. That's a, just a hole awesome. in the wall. Perfect. Yes. Um. Follow me for more tips. I'm I'm going back through. Um. Shall we go upstairs? I don't like yes. this. I'm not fine. I of second this. that. I am not fine of this place anymore. I mean Oh were you? Um before or after the rug? Well that uh, yeah, right there. That that kind of that just kinda killed my enthusiasm for this place. Um <laughs> I'm worried I'm going, teeth at the top of the landing. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to while we are walking up the stairs. Pull out one of those lovely healing potions that we snarked earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. That we stole. And mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use it. We didn't steal um, those. Those were given. Under false mm. pretenses. Yeah, I kind of lied. Still not stolen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You should uh -oh. drink the dark red one. No, I'm not going to drink the dark red one. Oh, okay. Look, the light blue one. Um, perhaps, how about just one of the healing potions in general for now? All right. I know, you that takes... The... Safe, because Hubert is kind of beat up from the shadow and the... Oh, would you like? rocket from the monster earlier. Do you need... Can I give you several of these? I mean... I not say no. On a scale many... of like 1 to 34, I'm feeling like a solid 23. <laughs> so you would like one as... Of course. Oh, you'd like one as well. I'm just... No, that's yeah. just how I feel. Okay. Well, let's, I feel let's fine. just say that Hubert's feathers might have been a little ruffled by that prior encounter. 
would two will two suffice? What are right. you talking to me? No, I'm talking sure. to Hubert. Or to Hubert. Yes. Okay. Talking so to I who? Will, who, uh, who? Yes. No. Who are you talking to? Bert. Exactly. Uh, ex mm -hmm. Right. No, who's on first? No, no, no. He's right here. Anyway, um, two for <laughs> Hubert and one for me. Um, I will. It's uh, two D four plus two. Mm -hmm. I understand my own joke. Seven. Ooh, very nice. Almost all that I just ate from you. Yeah, I know. Very lovely. All right. So, um, let's... 2d4 plus what? 2d4 plus two. Actually, if you add the healing potions to your inventory, you can just click on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I'm trying to do then. <sighs> oh. Too early Joining you up. Sorry. It's been a long day. It was a very it was a very long day. We, What's the DC for Yana? Uh, I believe it's a uh twelve. Uh did you know that this tower is forty feet around? Mm. Yeah. Well, I didn't exactly walk up here with the tape measure, so <laughs> well I I did. Uh, and you I did? Just, wow. It it saved me from having to figure out how to make a round thing. Mm -hmm. It is the perfect I size. Walked up, walked up these stairs and kind of eyeballed it. Like, mm, you know I what? did. It looks more or less exactly like 40 feet in diameter. It does. Wow. Uh, it, it, um, it's the perfect size for the yawning portal. Nice. Such a mm -hmm. nice pile of garbage in the corner. Well, it's not exactly a pile of garbage. It's another slime monster. It, it's not a slime monster, actually. Oh. But there's somebody up on top of it. So It's worse! Oh, here we go. Rubble exactly. lies scattered across Rubble. the floor where part of the roof has collapsed, revealing the sky. Perched mm. atop the rubble is a hunched figure wrapped in cloak. It gazes at the sky, unaware of you. Uh, I'm going to stop walking forward, because that'd be dumb. I'm going to kind of look at it. Can I, is it like humanoid, or is the uh, cloak covering enough of it where I can't tell? Yeah, you can't so like, tell. It is a... It's neck bent at some unnatural angle looking up or something, like... Um, give me a perception check. Wait, does that have a nail through its skull? That is Ooh, I actually critted. a weapon. Wow, nat 20. Oh, okay. Did you really? Plus one, but so, you know. Nat 20 is still going to get some nice goodies. Oh. Um, nice information. You're like, yep, that's a dude in a cloak. God damn. Well... I didn't spend a regular what? healing potion. I found 44 plus 4. That's not right. What you see is he's mm -hmm. got clawed feet, clawed hands. Looks like there yeah. are spikes emanating down his back. And it is a... Spikes. spikes. He's not and wearing what? bicycles. Um... What was that last part? There are spikes running down his back. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't really see the front of him. He's looking away from you. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of like hold out my hand, kind of across, like, uh, like to the to the side, kind of like gesture of like stop to the other people who's behind me, and I'm gonna kind of whisper. To them, my hey, that's not a person. And I kind of like slowly make my way forward. Can I roll stealth? I don't yeah, know go ahead. This guy. Ooh, a 19. Very nice. Plus 5, 24. Well, I'm going to follow this wall to my yeah. left if, if a 19, if a 24 helps. 
he is very sorry she is very uh transfixed oh, that perception on gaming gender too yep very right. transfixed well, on this guy it's very feminine looking back somehow with all the spikes but yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to kind of move along this wall to my left towards the door right there. Okay. This I don't know door... if the rest of them are going to gonna follow me or not. Does this yeah, door, I... have, door have teeth? It does not. I was about to tell you that it does not have teeth. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to um, follow Spicy. Okay. Uh, as quietly as possible. Okay, a stealth check. That's what I'm getting to. Shade is as well. Alright, stealth check from you as well. Group stealth. Alright, come Group on big stealth. bucks. All it, takes is, all it takes is one person to mess it up. Oh. <laughs> Two sixteens. Oh. Not quite as stealthy as you, but... I'm stealthy so, as well. Uh, yeah, you are. I'm pretty much following in his footsteps. I'm going to go to the corner and... Uh, does Hubert get the pass, too? Uh, with the yeah, he's yeah, got ahead. the... the yeah, he got... Wings he, there. Rolled, he rolled a 14. He, did, he got 14. Put those to good use and quietly flap my way along while I drink the healing potion. All right. All right. Everyone seems to have made it through without uh, alerting whatever this creature is to your presence. Whatever the hell it is. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna roll, grab the door handle and grab the door handle and slowly open this door as quietly as I can. Alright. As the door squeaks open. <laughs> oh, very loudly. <laughs> we're, all, we're all wincing. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, there goes all stealth. Yep. <laughs> Roll stealth for the door. That <laughs> 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 one. Oh, don't worry. You weren't going right. to alert her to your presence. She rolled a nat one. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Um, well, we are looking leaving. at her as she <laughs> past. What does, uh, what does Hubert see like what does he understand about her like what's going on with her I'm asking for like a perception check uh, let's... let me see what do I want you to do I don't want another perception check oh that was spicy that gave a perception check um let's Get, I'd say Spicy kind of explained what he saw to you. So could I get an Arcana check, actually? That 23 okay. was for Silk. He stealthed along with me. All right. Come on, big bucks. Oh, oh very right. nice. 18. Oh. Yeah, you know, based on the description of what uh, Spicy saw, it sounds like this creature is a Nothic. A what? A Nothic. Huh? No, it's a something. I am not familiar with that. What is well, a Nothic? It is a... Um... How to best describe a Nothic? Um, let me see. 
The description here, Anothic is a monstrous creature with terrible talons and a single great eye. It is a... Um, an aberration that is typically evil. Ooh. And they are a telepathic type species. Oh. If you've played the um, Lost Minds of Fandelver, you encounter a Nothic in the uh, Red Brand hideout underneath the underneath of uh, the city. Okay. I have not, but... But like I said, this one seems to be distracted. Preoccupied? Were we in the right to not mess with it? And it Is also... That, we've, we've gathered enough to decide to determine that? Kind of odd that it's wearing clothes. They don't typically wear clothes. And since I'm not messing with a spiky monster. Hubert knows enough to know that it's, it's not an a good thing. Yeah, that's what you would ascertain. Do, what what plane do Nothic typically reside on? Um, like is the Nothic proof that some of these experiments with the book that he stole to bring stuff through have been successful or? Um, Nothics are typically drawn to magical places. Um, they, I'd say, you don't know where they typically, where they typically reside, what plane they typically come from. You just know enough that they are drawn to places of great magic. Okay. Do you enter the next room with everybody else? Oh, yes. I'm going to leave the Nothic to its thoughts. Okay. As you guys enter uh, this room... We're going to close the door. Well, before you close yeah. the door... It grows teeth. Ah! <laughs> Something like that. I would actually like for everyone to roll for initiative. What uh, new? Damn it. I All didn't right. touch it. You didn't. I didn't. Ooh, I got a 10. Look, this this Oof. also doesn't mean that it's the Nothic that we are now initiative with. It could be something else. I, I see. I see your ten, and lower to a nine. Ooh! Wow! I'm just gonna ignore the nineteen I right above it and, and add them together. <laughs> right? Oh, Ooh, very three quick, nice. Three quick maths. All right. So what do we got? Ooh! Nineteen raised to a twenty-five. <laughs> Uh, we have a, a 20, a 19, a 10, and a 9. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Him, her. Him, her. Very nice. Okay. Boy, girl, boy, girl. Well. Wow. Very perceptive. That's an odds. And then also, whatever the bad. Now that we're on the, on the topic of math, if I take my initiative and multiply it by 2, that's how this out. That's what this owl guy got. Um, <laughs> um, what, As you what, entered the room. What in the hell? <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Bad. Tell me. Are those, Are those chickens? Are we fighting chickens right now? It looks like we're fighting chickens. <laughs> it was the no. best I could get. But. I know what they are. 
They're still just hell moving. You are descended on by Sturges. Eight Sturges. Two Dire per- Chickens. Dire chickens would that, be preferable. Well, they're more like giant mosquitoes. That's giant yes. They're nasty little creatures. So, Stop off topic. The... If it was just you, how many chickens can you possibly like all at once, how many chickens do you think you can you can fight off before they kill you? They're nasty buggers. Well, right? How many do you think you can that, take on at once before you get yeah. overwhelmed by chickens? So that depends entirely on what world you're talking. Chickens? Yeah, he. You, I mean, you're talking. You're talking to somebody who has chickens. <laughs> I'm talking Not, real life, like right now. Why would I want to? You're fight playing my chickens? D. And, you're playing. You're playing a game of D and D, and like. A massive herd of chickens just shatters in through the windows and start like attacking you. How many do you think you could fight off before they overwhelm you? Why are you being mean to my chickens? Uh, they don't have to be your chickens. They can be your neighbor's chickens. They're feral chickens. Feral, wild, dire chickens. Don't tell and my wife to try and bring them home. <laughs> <laughs> we have contemplated stealing a, some chickens we see on the side of the road all the time. They're really pretty. No. I can... I'm going to say a solid, like, probably, like... I think anything over, like, 30 chickens is kind of excessive. (laughs) They will get a quick round of attacks on you, because you were not expecting Sturges to descend from the ceiling. You were kind of preoccupied by the Nothic next door. Great. And now that we now that we stealth through a whole room, now we're fighting in the next one, hoping that sound doesn't carry over. We're gonna have to fight another yeah. army. Okay, so against Probably. spicy, that is one of them with an eighteen and the other with a natural twenty. Ooh. Jesus. Wow. Oh, sorry, well, the natural twenty misses. Oh, okay. Yeah, my AC is just that high. I'm just that good. No, so, it's my AC's fifteen. A whole, a whole fifteen. That is, uh, yeah, both six, hits. six from the first hit. <laughs> uh huh. And nine from the second hit, and they have oh. clamped down on you. Oh, oh no! Next. Detached. Great. Looks like next is Hubert. Let's see. Mm. Wow. That one misses. Well, and the second one, I'm assuming that a 22 will hit, I assume. Oh, oh so close. <laughs> For seven damage, and that one has affixed itself to you. <laughs> Next will be... Uh, let's go with Shada's next. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a natural one. Oh, good. And a 15. Is a 15 nope. hit? All right, so they both swarm in, and you're able to bat them off with your monk dodging. And finally, an 8 and a 19 to Terran. The 19 hits. For 7 damage, and it is affixed to you. Fuck. And then, it is y- y'all's turn. Because for their actual initiative, oh. they got a 7. God, they did worse than me. Nice. Yeah. A 4 plus 3 will do that Top to you. <laughs> Top of the round. That would be you. No, that would be who? Uh, Hubert. Who? Uh, who? Who's first? I don't. Um, That's I don't exactly know. Exactly correct. Yep. 
Of course it would be who won first. Mm. Yep. What's on second? I don't know. Third base. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, Hubert's going to take his mace and uh, try to hit the one that's attached, I guess. All right. Go ahead. And that is... You have trouble getting your mace to make contact with the sturge that's attached to your leg. Awesome. Okay. Not a good angle to swing where I don't also hit myself, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it was, it was kind of rough to make contact. Can you, ca- can you cap yourself? Anything yeah, else for you? Yeah, not looking to do that. Um, hmm. What kind of action is it to close the door? Uh, free action. Okay, I'll I'll close that door so that we don't have to worry about because I'm sure noise is about to happen, so try to leave that thing out there to its thoughts and okay. deal with the oversized mosquitoes in here. All yes, right. we do. So, so the door is closed. Oh, I forgot to do something. Oh, does that trigger any weird effects in here? <laughs> what, you trying to close a door? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... Do I have enough movement to go about 10 feet there after closing the door? Uh, Yes, but the one that is not attached to you... Oh, shoot, I forgot about all about that. Well, Hubert's not a master technician. It's okay. So we'll get attack of opportunity. That is going to hit. Oh, Uh-oh. shit. And now that one is attached to you, and it did five damage to you. Piercing. Well, that wasn't very smart of me. Okay. Next up will be Shada. Real quick. Um, well, actually, I'll just do it on my turn. Never mind. Okay, Shade is going to try and hit one of the ones that attacked her with her quarter All right, have at it. Yes, yes, you do. With that, you crush the giant mosquito and it nice. falls out of the sky. Anything else? You did. Nope, she's done. All right. Then it goes on to Spicy with two giant mosquitoes attached to you. Well, with my with my two hands, I can only seem to attack once. So I'm gonna I'm gonna swat off one of these mosquitoes with this unarmed strike. Okay. Uh, 
does a 15 hit. It does indeed. Awesome. Uh, 12 to hit, or 12 damage. Ooh, nice. If I could select a third, it would be awesome. You swat at the giant mosquito, and now it is, it looks like it's been feeding, and it's just, you know, when you swat a mosquito that's been eating you, and it's just a big old blood splot. Splot. Um, what else can I do? Um, let's see here, actually, I couldn't do anything. Where's that? Come on. Where is it? All right. They have, they have cute little nope. tushies. Screw it. <laughs> well, um, screw it. Since I can't do anything else, I'm going to... Grapple this other mosquito that's on me. Okay. That way, if it it's still on me by the time by the start of my next turn, I can do a D4 of damage for free. Okay, and go ahead and as as for what that looks like, I have no idea. <laughs> um, give me a strength or athletics check. Mm -hmm. 21. You, I would say you are able to grab it and you pulled it off so it's not feeding on you at the moment. And you've got uh, it in your hand. Cool. I can't do anything else after that, so that'll be my turn. And so last would be, uh, looks like it should be Taryn now. Okay. Me and the cat. Who doesn't have any sturges attached to it? No. Um, we're going to um, yank out the short swords and um, use them like to scrape them off. Mm -hmm. And then as they're scraping them off, swing and see if I can cut one of them in half. Okay, go ahead. Roll your attack. 18. Yes. You managed to scrape off one of them. And three piercing damage. Only one of them hit, hit you, right? Uh, yes, the other one missed. So are you attacking the one attached to you or the other one? The one attached to me. All right. I want to get that... Pup uh, uh, Taryn would be somewhat familiar with Sturges being a ranger. Yeah. She may not know exactly um, what their abilities are, but she would know that they have to come off. Yes. All right. Anything, I see knows their bugs. Anything with your bonus action? Yes. Uh, because Here, I have yeah. Um yeah, kitty 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 and um Sick of Exactly. Uh Silk is going to um whip out his claws and he's the one that's still buzzing around me. You know how cats pounce on Bugs? flying yes. objects, bugs. Yeah, he's gonna bug do what that cat thing onto a bu onto the bug, hopefully. All right. It's like playing with it on the ground and just trying to get away. Just gonna... <laughs> yeah, Pete, you got the, you like know, the paw. To move and bats it over. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's got the paw on it and he pulls the paw up and it moves and he pushes it back down again and yeah, until he plays it dead. Uh, 14 to hit. That is enough to hit. Awesome. Let's see how much damage he does. 
squishes it. Yeah, I hope I hope he doesn't squish it on the first try so he can play with it a little bit. <laughs> Six damage. Ooh, nice. He rolled a four. Squishes it. Aww. He picks his <laughs> paw up and bats at him. Kind of like... Bit. Kind, well, of no, shit, he, kind of shakes the guts off of it. No, he, kind, he, well, no, he kind of pushes it with his paw a couple of times to see if it's still alive, and then he sits down disappointed. And that's oh, our turn. Ever, ever seen uh, like when a cat gets like tape or something on its paw and tries to shake it off? Yes. That's what I'm imagining. That's um. Yeah, I I so, may have put tape on my one cat's paw just to annoy it one day. May have done that. Possibly. At, yeah, just possibly. That is our turn. We are um, we're done. All right. Who still has some Sturges attached? Uh, let's see. Yes. Hubert has yes, two. Yes, he does. So you take. Uh, give me the suck. Seven, and then. Five points of damage as it is sucking your blood. Mm. That is. That puts Hubert at zero exactly. Wow. Okay, and the Sturges then detach. Since you are no longer food, they are full. And start to move towards another target. Now, Great. no one else has any attach, so they are going to roll to attack. Spicy. That's an 11. Ooh. Nope. And then the shade of that is a 6. Nope. Okay. Nice. Hubert, death saving throw. Just All don't right. net. Just don't net. Net one. Oops. Trying to see how to make the saving throw. You should. It should up in the top. It should have. I think actually. Yeah. It says death saves, failure, success. Look Trying to see it. how to roll the die though. Click on it. Yeah, you should. I believe that. Did. It, it opens a window, but I don't see how to roll the die on it. Let me see. You just, are you on Team to Beyond? Just go to the bottom left and just roll a dice from there. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Let me kill off one of my characters here. Just make sure it's not this one. We kind of need all the help we can get. No, I'm going to kill off Thor. That's a 15. All right, so that's a success. Shada, you're up. Okay, um, real quick before you, before we go on, um, on your death throws, there's a, in between, when you click on it, it brings a pop-up window that gives you all this information. In between mm -hmm. the failures and successes, there's a little D&D &D Beyond Dice. If you click on that die, it will roll for you. I don't see that in the app. Oh, you're in the app. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I hate the app. The <laughs> app hates me. Well, I know the app doesn't really like Apple very much. No, it doesn't. All right, I apologize. All right, Shada, what's it going to be? You've got two that have come up to you. And she's going to swing at him again. All right. Swing your quarterstaff, and you just miss it. Boo. You want to use your bonus action for anything? Mm. 
I use my bonus action to stare at it. Mm, no, not this time. So can't do anything. <laughs> All right. Then it moves on to Spicy. Well, it's the start of his turn, so. Let's see here. Where does it say? Where are you? All right, so fighting style, unarmed fighting, grapple. At the start of each of your turns, you can deal 1d4 bludgeoning damage to one creature grappled by you. All right. Let's see, doesn't show there. Um, I don't see anything about it adding like a like strength modifier or anything like that to it. Do you want a flat roll or do you want that? Um, hang on, let me see. I... Which one is this? Uh, it's under the unarmed fighting fighting style. Uh, just 1d4. So yeah, just right, a straight roll. roll. All right. That's a three, da uh, three. So three damage. Three damage. The one that you have grappled. Falls dead in your hand. Oh, um, let's see who's closest to me. There's one that's still um, that one that came up on you. So there's still a sturge yeah, in right. front of you. And then I'm going to swat at that one. All right, go ahead. Let's see here. All right. Um, an eleven to hit. That does not hit. Wow. Okay. Um. Let's see, does it hit? When I hit a creature, okay, so I can't grapple it. Well, uh, I think that is it. All right. What is really... Taryn and Silk going to do then? Um, can... I'm going to move the flooring. Um, Very good. Can... Can I get past? I can't ping it. The um, the the cute cute butted thing next to me, the that's closest to me. Can I get past that without taking an attack? The one that's attacking, uh, Shall Shada. 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 Yeah. Um, you can try to. Oh. All right, let's tr let's 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 try and sneak past. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I want to come over here, okay. and I want to pour. Did did it did did I did I take an attack? Uh, it didn't seem operating? to pay much attention to you. Good, 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 good. He um, was distracted. And I would like to use my action to pull one of the healing potions and dump it down um, Hubert's throat. All right. Open his mouth and pour it down. Okay. And let me get into my inventory. And potion of healing. And... You get eight... Oh, very, very oh, nice. Good. Eight hit points back. You are now up, Hubert. And the three remaining Sturges. You said Hubert. eight? Eight, yes. Oh, wait, first, I'm assuming Silk, Silk is probably going to attack one of them, huh? Yeah, Silk, that, yeah, that was my action. Let me, hold on, I need to update my inventory. I'm glad we took those healing potions. I'm very glad we took those healing potions. Um, and I am going to, to have Silk 
uh, run over and attack attack um is is one attached and one not attached no nothing is attached to anyone okay the one that is if you are looking at shada the one that is on the left hand side uh-huh uh silk is going to slink nope the other side the other left yes that left all right um all right. Silk is going to slink over and do the cat thing. All right. So let me right find away. him here. Yeah. Got to pounce. Um, claws. 17. Very nice. That's a good to hit. Yep. Yeah. He did that kind of, he kind of did that cat thing where he jumped up. A little bit and poof, mm -hmm. both paws yeah. pushes it to the ground and let's see if he squishes it five yeah sturges don't he have squished. much hp no they don't um kind of kind of familiar with them from water deep so <laughs> he he did the whole pounce thing and he did the whole when he picked his paws up, he did the shaky, shaky, get the dick off his paws thing. And then he, um, he was just going to stand over by her for now. All right. So the Sturges will attack. First one is going after Spicy with a 12. And the second one will go for Shada with... A, what is that? Uh, 16. Nope. All right. That is their turns. So they are just flying around the two of you being annoying. And they're doing a very good job of it. So I believe that puts Hubert's turn. You are yes. currently laying down. I don't remember doing that. Okay. Uh, Hubert will stand up and um, cast Toll the Dead at, I guess, the one in front of Shada, and it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. All right. Now let me see. What is their wisdom? Ah, oh, okay. Very good. Now. Excellent. Okay. That is a 19. Oh, okay. Well, it saves them. And well. as you cast your spell, you notice that the air feels heavy. Oh. Heavy, heavy how? Like you are trudging through water. Yeah. And just so you're all aware, it is now difficult terrain. Okay. Oops. Anything else? Um, no, not in the middle of combat. All right. Shade is turn. Well, I mean, I guess like readying the shield and trying to make myself harder to hit, but like no other than that, no. All right. Shade. 
Shayna, you're up. She's doing the same thing. All right. Smack away. Don't smack away. She's not hitting anything. Anything else? Nope. We did not pay our dice fee. All right, spicy. It's that Baldur's Gate 3 day that you're using. That's the problem. Uh-huh. It only has the number three on it. Nothing higher. <laughs> All right, are you going to punch the giant mosquito? Cody, you're up. Yes, yes, you do punch the giant mosquito. Oh, is he? There he oh. is. Uh, can you hear me now? There you are. Yes. There you are. Let me try and swat this mosquito out of the air. All right. I rolled a 14 to hit. That's just enough to hit. Awesome. Uh, five damage. That's enough to kill it. Ooh, cool. nice. Hi. Now, there's just one more, right? Yep. That's it. Yep, right. slightly well, uh, high AC, see. almost no HP. Let's see the... Give me a sec. Oh, the turn. Right. Never mind. That's it. All right, so... Then, Taryn, you going to finish us off? Well, I certainly hope so. Sure. Um, we're going to start with the bonus action, Kitty. Yeah, I... Kitty. Um, so let's see what Zilk can do. You have do. To, do you have to give a command every time you want the cat to do something? Yes. Or is it intuitive enough to figure out the cat, like, really just lays around and just watch you fight stuff? Nope, you've you got to use your to bonus them. action to tell him to each turn. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, he'll just sit there and, Lazy. and clean himself. Lazy yep. cat. It's a cat. Are they only... Yeah, true. <laughs> I, see, yeah, I'm, lucky, yeah, with that. I'm lucky to get him to do things when I tell him to do things All right. a hey. dirty 20 alright actually I do know that it doesn't matter He's the, the Sturge is dead yep. plus 5 yep when they have 2 HP to begin with there's not much <laughs> yeah yeah, when there's and a million then, of them, that's the best story. <laughs> normally, there are quite a few more. Um, and I will call Silk back to me. And that's... I, I think we, we got them all, yes? Uh, you do not see any more in the room. Okay, I've, look, we've checked the ceiling and everything like that. Uh, looks like they probably came in from the... Other room with the hole in the ceiling. Oh. That is a good thing we closed the door. Um, that's our turn. Are we out of initiative? You are indeed. Cool. Um, would I... Would spicy be intuitive enough to figure out that the uh, where the that bathroom is is indeed where it's at, or would I have to fumble through some doorways to try and be like, no, nah, yeah, that's the one place. It's pretty obvious that this door goes to the bathroom. Yeah, um, I suggest a short rest. Would we be able to, or is this not a good place to just like you know have someone watch the door? And try and get some, try and take a quick breather. Maybe roll some hit die. Because, wow. You can if you just want to take 10 minutes, if you just want to take 10 minutes, Hubert can cast Prayer of Healing. That's 2d8 plus 4 to 
up to six creatures of Hubert's choice. Well, if I take a short rest, then I can get my second win back for later. Uh, and as well as... Well, just my second win, actually. That was some hit die. How many... Um... How many spells have you used? Just cantrips. I've used a total of zero. Oh. I cast Mage Hand a lot, but that's about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm thinking Hubert. Yeah, just cantrips. <laughs> okay, so you as have... As far as what was actually used. Okay, so you have your spell slots. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, if it's if a short rest is going to help, spicy, we should take a short rest instead. Yeah. If if I were to on a scale of like one to thirty four, I'm feeling like a solid eight right now. Wait, what did I? Like on a hypothetical scale of like of like if if how I was feeling was like numbers. I'd be feeling a solid eight right now. What? He's deleting things. I yeah, see things what? disappearing. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Ignore the man behind uh -oh. the curtain. Yeah, ignore the man behind the curtain. Yeah. Why don't we just mm -hmm. go into the bathroom and, and rest for a little bit? I mean, I, I, don't I, like I, I don't... You can save your prayer of healing for when... I know you need it. Mm -hmm. Um Who? What? When? Tomorrow. Now? We've been through this, yes. Yes. Yep. So, Open door. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think... Ooh, look at that. Oh, no, we got to open the door first. We can offer a quick prayer to God for this door to open. And then, oh my God, oh, it's... It worked. See? It works. I'm gonna walk in here. Do you want God to close the door? Yes. Yeah. And that would be great. If, if, if. Amen. Actually, we have the great JC and is our, our DM in the one campaign okay. that we're <laughs> um, The great JC. Yeah, the great JC. If you could close the. Hatch there, too. God. Yes, thank you. One that may or may not be a foot to the left. <laughs> it looks exactly. pretty solid placement to me. As, as you fall through the floor. <laughs> um, Taryn's gonna damage. have uh, silk lay across it, so it don't it will not open again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does the door open into this room or out of this room? This door actually opens downward. I just. Opened oh, it. Oh. I meant the uh, the one going out to the room we were just in. Uh, let me see what the picture of the thing shows it. I think everything opens into hallways, but no, this mm. opens into the bathroom. Okay, we can just ooh, we can we can move that uh that. So. That little uh, looks like a dresser in the corner of the room. Is that mobile? Would I be able to move that over? Maybe put um, it in front of I think a certain door. A couple of you, you'd be able to get it to move. It's not affixed. But... Yeah, I propose moving that in front of the door. I will help you move that. Cool. All right. Well, with the two of you, kind of impromptu barricade. Have it float five feet up in the air. <laughs> That's my little trick. Cool. There, and we'll put something or someone on top of that uh, that hatch. Actually, is that a... Uh... Wait, you said it opens up or down? Downward. Because you pulled okay. the rope and it dropped down. Is that... Is that a uh, a ring handle on that hatch? Yes. 
Uh, I'm gonna take that battle axe out of my uh, out of my backpack and okay. run that like the haft of it okay. through the through that ring to where it locks the hatch in place. Okay. All right. All right. I think. Uh, I think we can manage with this. Okay. Go ahead. You may take your short rest. Let's see. So, however many of your hit dice you feel necessary. Mm. Well, I have a feeling we might run into some unfortunate stuff later, so I'm going to. Uh oh. I think my headset died. Two of them. Why? Oh, very nice. Hold on just a moment. One dice, full health. Nice. Very good. I know. Oh. That never happens. Is it not automatically roll? No, it does, it does not. It, you have to select for it to automatically roll, at least on the Android one. All right, let's see. So, ten plus four. He's Let's not see. an Android. Well, I don't know if it works Me? that way on the I'm, Apple. I'm, I'm on Android, but I'm I'm rolling it on. Uh, I have my computer open as well. You uh, are Android. Eleven, yeah. Oh. Eleven and. There we go. Did pretty good. Yeah, you see, I can manage without a uh, without a super simple interface, so. <laughs> Yeah, on the PC, if you click on the short rest, it should let you select to automatically apply healing with dice results. Yeah, but I, I did I did click that, and it didn't apply it at all. Did you select so, how oh many well, dice you I, wanted? To, oh, well. Yep. Yeah, I selected everything. Yeah, so I just rolled it myself. Oh, well. Oh, well. Just some so math I, I think you can manage. I have good news and I have bad news. Uh, bad news first. Okay, the bad news is that my wife has to get up early for work, so I I need to bow out. And the good news? The good news is I, I rolled two dice for the short rest, and uh, Hubert is fully healed. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, I, if uh, DM is willing, I think this is a good spot to to park our characters until the next game. Looks if he has to bow to out, looks good to me. Then that works for moi. You guys had some fun excitement in here. A little bit of uh, paranoia. That was a great time. <laughs> but impromptu carpentry. Yeah. That was very I'm very impressed with your carpentry skills. Very impressed. You right. did make some interesting discoveries of how this house seems to work. And yeah, just just uh ask me how I figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Got him. Put um bump bump. Yeah, if I rub enough brain cells together, I can figure some things out. But, yeah, that was a good, good little bit. Got a lot done. Mm -hmm. It's always fun getting to showcase abilities of Mirrorscape. Oh, yes. So, same time next week. Sounds good to me. 
Yeah, uh, I, th um, I think that should be available. Yeah, I, yeah, I should be okay. Yeah, I had to come up with a way to make a tub for this, so... I like that. That's That was very clever. I used the one buys from uh, the Dwarven Forge, stacked them up to make it like that, and shrunk it down. It's very clever. Taryn's going to take a little quick bath. <laughs> and that was when I was asking Eric when he was going to, when they were going to get us some tubs, because I needed them. And now we know why you needed a tub. And uh, if, you I noticed, sort of figured out. <laughs> if you noticed, I did ask about getting a Nothic, and that's why I asked for that. That I don't remember that. Yep, I said that. That said, would be metagaming. We can't have that. I said I need a Nothic for no particular reason. <laughs> I do remember that now. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. So yes, it uh, was. yeah. Nine eight central next week. Sounds good. Awesome. Sounds great. All Thank right. you. All right, y'all have nice a good week. You guys. See y'all next time. Thank you. And Thank see you. you next week. All right. Good night. Thank you. Good night.